Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, the 31st week of Ordinary Time. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You know, sometimes in life we get things wrong. Sometimes we get things wrong because we're distracted. Other times we get things wrong. Maybe we're tired, or we're angry, whatever it might be, or maybe we're jealous or whatever. So as we begin, let's kind of reflect on the path to getting things right. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, that we may see what must be done and gain the strength to do what we have seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we, though many, are one body of Christ and individually parts of one another. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us exercise them. If prophecy in proportion to the faith, if ministry in ministering, if one is a teacher in teaching, if one exhorts in exhortation, if one contributes in generosity, if one is over others with diligence, if one does acts of mercy with cheerfulness, let love be sincere, hate what is evil, hold on to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, endure in affliction, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the holy ones, exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep, have the same regard for one another, do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. In, In you, you, O Lord, Lord I, have I have found, found my, my peace. peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In, In you, you, O Lord, Lord I have found, found my peace. peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child. Like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, in you, O Lord, Lord, I have found my peace. peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, you O Lord, Lord, I have found, found my peace. peace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied to him, a man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servant to say to those invited, come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen, and I am on my way to evaluate them. I ask you to consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. The master of, ha of the house, in a rage, commanded his servant, go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town, and bring in here the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame, the servant reported, sir, your orders have been carried out and there still is room. The master ordered the servant, go out to the highways and the hedgerows and make people come in that my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning, everyone. So in today's gospel, Jesus is sitting down at dinner with a bunch of people, I'm assuming. The one man says, blessed is those who will dine in the kingdom of God. And he's kind of talking about some future event that we will have to be dining in the kingdom of God. Jesus kind of brings it back to the present moment in the parable and tells of those invited, all who had excuses, and then everyone else was invited to come and brought into the house for the dinner. So I thought about that a little bit and what to really talk about, and I'm thinking, you know, God 
invites us to do a lot of things, not in the future, but in the present moment. We encounter God in the present moment. He asks us to do things. We should be observant to that, pay attention to that, and carry out what God is looking for us to do. So you think about that and you think about all those people. When we go through our daily life, do we do what God asks us to do? Or are we like those people who got married, had oxen, or got a field? Do we have all those excuses and then just go about our daily life? God invites us to do a lot of things. He invites us to pray, to have a relationship with him. He asks us maybe to read the Bible, to come to church. Do we have excuses and maybe not to do those things? God invites us to help others, charitable acts, acts of forgiveness, acts of love, acts of mercy, acts of kindness. Those little kindness things never are a bad thing to do. Always look for those to do in your daily life. Follow what God brings up to us each and every day. Follow the will of God. I ask you to reflect upon that, my brothers and sisters. God bless. For our petitions, for our church, may now always be a community of love, mercy, charity, and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people, may they contribute to society based upon their God-given gifts and talents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For any and all broken relationships with our brothers and sisters, may God give us the graces needed to repair them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the hungry, the lonely, may they experience God's love and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this bread to give you what earth is given, and human hands are made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this wine to give you food of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of God's holy church. May our prayers, O Lord, find favor with you, that it may restore us to holiness and obtain what we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. just. Father, here's the word through whom we made the universe, the Savior sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born of the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he opened his arms on the cross, he put an end to death, and revealed the resurrection. And this he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Robert Buglehole and Bernie Martin, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world, world have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, loving God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you. <laughs>